so I've known Peter for seven years. Uh, when Lisa left, then Peter became chair. Um, and it was really great having him at the top, you know, leading us all. He's um, a wonderful, he was a wonderful man for um, just bringing out the best in you. And he, he would recognize in each one of us the qualities and try and get us to bring those, those forwards. He was always calm and gentle. He always did what he said he was gonna do. Always gave space for others and just facilitated the event. You know, he was a very modest man, very likable man a trustworthy man and, uh, and no sort of huge ego about him, he just got on with his job and I, I respected him for that. I think the community really appreciated um, Dad probably more than he knew. Um, I don't think a lot of people quite realised how much he did um, but you know I think he's going to be missed for a long time. He was amazing, amazing uh, fella, um, always brought out the good in people um, absolute pleasure to work with, pleasure to know, um, and I feel really privileged to have known him. I suppose his smile was my big lasting memory of him because he was always smiling, always happy, and just so full of life. And you know, he was just so kind and caring, and just really proud to have called him my dad. You couldn't have chosen a better person to nominate. Uh, even though it's coming up a year since Peter passed, it is still brings a lump to your throat to know that there are still people in the community who put community first before everything and the amount of work that he put in. He would be, I can't think of a better person to be nominated for such an award, even though it is posthumously.